There is a cyclone of black soot that's making us cough and making our eyes water. What is this? It can't be good for us. It can't be natural. There's no doubt that there has been extraordinary harm done. At one point, one of the girls asked their mom, am I gonna die? And at that moment, everybody was crying because we realized how much it was impacting the kids. We decided to create a space for the girls from the neighborhood to process everything that is going on, but then also to be able to communicate and then to advocate. The Kalima complex was built on an old lead refinery. All of it affects us, so we're trying to make these little activist girls. And this is ongoing, like this is years and years, so, so many houses. We make things absolutely as real and personal as possible and again to empower. The things you feel and you see and you know are really the things you feel, you see and you know. And if somebody denies that reality, even if it's your government, just keep saying it. In The Rebel Bells, you can be absolutely yourself with no judgment and be welcome, no matter what you think, how you feel, what you look like. There's a camaraderie there uh, that gives us strength. Environmental justice is not just acknowledgement, and oh, aren't we so smart because we recognize these things are, are here. Repair needs to be made, and we have to demand that the people who live this become the people who are the leaders and are listened to.